Clap it. Get down. Hey yo, hey yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? How we doing, everybody? Welcome. My name is Hero. This is Coding with Strangers. And I want to talk about something. Avengers, assemble. Scarlett Johansson is under attack. You want to know something that I find fascinating? Is after watching Scarlett Johansson take on Disney, her bosses, and sue them, and not only get what she wants... Get more and a nice send-off package for her troubles that's on par with RDJ and uh, Chris Hemsworth and a lot of them. You know, you got to give it to her. That she's, got, she's got some cojones on her. And there's no part of me that would have ever said if there was anyone in that Avengers list I would have chosen to fight with. It definitely wouldn't have been the one who literally in one of her movies as a human being went head to head with an AI bot and beat the AI's bot. Ultron got whooped by this chick. You feel me? Why? Why, Why would you try? Why would you try her? But there's a lot of things to really put into perspective here besides the movie. Because I don't know if you guys remember this, but literally less than six months ago, Early November, late December, all of the news, all of the actors went on strike with the writers because of AI. And for Sam Altman, you know, Sam Altman, just like most billionaires, I considered them to be out of touch. But for you to have the balls to go up and ask an actor who could be losing their representation if they don't sign an agreement to say that they own their likeness and say, hey, can we buy your likeness? If you sign up for this, this would definitely help boost this. And, and I don't know if Sam understood that she's part of a union. You were literally about to ask this woman to cross union lines for AI. And when AI takes over everything, it's not going to. But the thing that's going to be most valuable is individuality and the ability for that individuality to express itself and express itself in an artistic form. Like people who shit on arts on arts are the same people who would be crying if some of their favorite musicians didn't exist. The defense of the arts has to be put on a whole nother level. It has to be put on a whole nother level. But I think we really need to have a conversation about how ignorant Open AI, uh, all of these AI systems have to be to to woefully steal from the public art dispensary that is art and assume that there wouldn't be consequences for the actions. Let's start to see how we can make some of these AI systems appreciate the arts. Actor, you actors, union backed Scarlett Johansson after claims of voice misuse by open AI. May 21st, Reuters sag after an influential body representing television and radio artists on Tuesday backed Scarlett Johansson after an American actress raised concerns over the voice featured of a new OpenAI system that she said sounds eerily similar to her own. OpenAI unveiled its latest artificial intelligence model, GPT-40, last week featuring an audio interacting persona named Sky. And I have the video for that. I posted it here. I said in that video that this video, it sounded eerily flirtatious and a little bit too, it sounded like corporate flirting. It's like Janice who sits next to the fax machine. So you always have to talk to her, even though you're just there to pick up something. And God forbid you are a minute late after your thing prints because she'll pull it off of the fax machine and put it in her pile. So you have to come to her desk to talk to her to get it back. And that's when she makes the inappropriate com- com- compliments. Like, I really like your tie. Did, did your girlfriend pick it out for you? Shut up, Janice. She knows that you compliment her ties and she doesn't like that, okay? I've been to HR a few times. Scarlett said Monday that she had previously turned down a request from the company to use her voice for the system. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman clarified 
that the voice belongs to a different professional actress that they haven't disclosed yet and said that she was removing and said that they are removing Sky's voice from the company products. The thing about it is, if this was a different actor's voice, there's no problem here. It's the actor's voice. People are allowed to sound like other people. That's that's protected. But the reason why they took it down is because it isn't a different actor. It's just her voice altered to sound a little different. And they don't want to deal with that. And you want to know one thing that would bring that to light? A lawsuit. So they definitely don't want to deal with this. So he took it down. When you, Companies don't back down unless financial ruin is a part of it. There are companies that sold their souls in the in the in the court of public opinion, but didn't budge an inch. But if you're talking about taking money from me, oh yeah, we gotta move the we gotta move the goalposts, and that's what they're doing. So I am 110 percent sure that that is her voice. Sky is Scarlett Johansson, just pitch changed. Absolutely, like Altman literally talked said, uh, not said, but um, did the did the tweet where he put her one word. I think Sam Altman has the hot for Scarlett Johansson. Sam Altman married to all SAG after members. We share in her concern and fully support her right to have clarity and transparency regarding the voice used, a SAG after spokesperson said. SAG after, which represents 1,600,000 entertainment and media professionals globally, played a big role in securing an agreement from Hollywood studios for better pay and and protections against the use of AI for actors. The dispute over the right of the actors' voices and images has become a focal point in Hollywood as studios elevate, evaluate AI's potential for creating new entertainment. The issue is partially relevant as computer-generated images and sounds become increasingly indistinguishable from human ones. sag Actors said it was strongly championing federal legislation that would protect their voices and likeness and will continue to engage with open ai and, and other stakeholders to enshrine transparency transparent and uh resilient protections for all of us and this dates back to like i said the ai crisis that was happening uh in the early parts of the hollywood it's unbecoming of companies to think that this is this was thing and and we also did a story, uh, I'll snap and I'll put it here, where we talked about how political parties have crossed the, the, the aisle to say, hey, look, bipartisan, we, we don't want AI messing with our legislation because, you know, I don't want AI to say I said this or did this. So that's been barred from using that stuff in elections. There's no way that you can use this type of stuff. And it's and it's crazy. And and I'm thinking to myself that what's the next move here? What's the next right? Because there are some people who are okay with selling their likeness. Uh, Bruce Willis, he has that degenerative disorder, so he's lost the ability to to sp have his speech. And there's an artist who had uh, extreme surgery, I think, from a burn, and he lost his voice. And now he's getting his voice back because he can use AI. So there are people who do want to see their likeness live on past this. And, I, and I'm perfectly fine with that. But the problem that has a quickly happened with AI, when it all came out that they were just sampling things from the internet, that became a, a line crossed too much. And, and it's kind of this cognitive dissonance, right? Because yeah, I know I have a Facebook page, and you sh and if anyone wants to go to my Facebook page and download all of that stuff and use it f to make an AI generated version of me, they they technically can, but do I not have any protections to keep me keep my likeness and image imagery safe? I know YouTube's TOS says that you shouldn't do that, you can't do that, but we know bad people don't follow rules. That's why they're called bad people. AI companies need to take the initiative because the last thing we want is a bunch of sandbag old ass people in congress trying to figure out uh does a what does ai stand for again these companies need to be proactive and put regulations on themselves so that they don't get heavy-handed because congress will stifle innovation if you allow them ai has the potential to set a standard 
versus us being reactive. We need to make it our business to do this responsibly. And, there, and, and call me crazy, there's two ways that we could do this immediately. Let's just have an opt-in service. Let's just give people opt-in service. Uh, the ability to opt-in and whatever they want to use, they can use. And whatever they want to take from OpenAI, they can take. Instead of having this open nonsense that we're, where it's just, uh, let's just leave it in the hands of people. Because what happens when kids get involved, right? Um, some of these a a uh, devices literally will have the ability to look at anybody within their foreseeable site. And that begs the question, if this is a science experiment, who signed the waiver that I'm going to participate in this? There's so many things here. And the EU might be the, the trumpet of truth here. The EU seems to be on the up and up on how to maintain and manage these things because I just don't find our departments to be capable of handling this. It's, it's kind of crazy that how they're, how unprepared they are to handle these situations. Scarlett Johansson isn't wrong here. And she deserves the protection of the... And if she's going to be the... the the, uh, the setting case and the president for what people have to do in order to protect themselves or to even just get uh, AI companies to to follow some universal rules. It needs to happen and it needs to happen rather sooner than later because trust and believe if a woman who took on Disney and beat the brakes off of that mouse and then beat the brakes off of a Ultron bot in a movie, trust and believe she'll do it to you. Uh, and I think she, she would graciously win, but... That's just my take on it. It's, it's something that's been going on in the news. I wanted to hear y'all sauna. Like, share, and subscribe. Talk about it. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you on the other side.